Hello, and welcome to another Skullgirls video. This time I'm gonna be talking about Eliza and the changes she's had in the beta. Again, this is a beta. Not all the changes are 100% certain to be in the retail version of the game, but I feel like the changes they've made, they're happy with them, and the things that they're gonna tweak are more numerical values than anything else. So I'm pretty confident that things I show you in this video will still stay the same except for some values here and there that I'm not gonna go into you should look at that if you want but I wouldn't consider them that that much important if you're not like the highest level of play which I'm not so I don't really care about them either but without further ado let's check Elisa's changes so Sackman which is the most important change can backlash out of hit any grounded move not any air move though, cannot backdash in the air, only on the ground, doesn't matter what hits, as long as it's on the ground and hits, you can backdash it. Not only hits though, also if they block it, you can backdash to safety. So now, you can do your cheeky reset. Oh no, they blocked, I backdash, so I'm fine. I can do a cheeky, like, five overheads, overhead, 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 overhead. That's pretty good. If they block it, I'm safe. I can just backdash. This cross up is really slow. Most people block it. But what if I take out segment? Will they block the launching overhead segment? Who knows? You can try it. And if they do block it, you can just backdash out, out of it and keep yourself safe. You cannot backdash on whiff, though. As you can see, I'm trying to backdash however possible. It's not possible. And now, you might have noticed, Sackmed does not drain meter. So you might be asking, so what's the trade-off now? Because all of this seems pretty strong. Well, the trade-off is... Where is my health? He drains life now, as you can see. And the longer he stays out, the faster life drains. And of course it caps at the fastest one, but there you go. He also drains life with every move he does. Backdash is the one that takes out the biggest chunk of life. You can see I lost most of my life there. And you might be like, I... how is that better than losing meter? You're losing a lot of life. Well, here's the thing. If Sekhmet hits with his sword or axe, Droplets appear. These are blue because of Eliza's color palette, but usually they are red. These are blue because they're water, and this is Lapis Lazuli from Steven Universe or whatever. Pretty sure that's why. But they're usually red. And they disappear after like 10 seconds, and you'll see it right now. But what the droplets do, they disappear right there, is... If Eliza touches them, she gains life back. So, even if Sakmed was blocked and you lost a chunk of life, next time you hit, you have the opportunity to gain that life back. And not only that, the other move Sakmed has now is a super. As you can see, Eliza is all the way back there. She's not close. So then if I do this and go back, I won't be able to combo. But she now has a super, that teleports Eliza super close and now I'm here and I can take all the blood as you can see I recovered a lot of life the super is the thing that will give you the most blood out of any of Sekhmet's moves also you can combo from it as long as you haven't used your pink bounce And I got all the droplets, and now I'm at more life than I was when I started this whole thing. That's pretty good. So I like what they did with Eliza. She has... Sekhmet now feels like an actual tool she can use. Like a complete tool, not just a gimmick to bust out every so often to keep your opponent on their toes. Now I feel like I want to take Sekhmet out. I want to use him to actually do more mix-ups or do more things in neutral and things like that. 
So because of that, also confirms from mid screen are a little better. Because this doesn't present a huge sacrifice anymore. It's a little sacrifice. But it's not that much, as you saw. I got all the droplets. And just a little chunk of life I lost. That I could get again if I decided to do so. The problem is that... You really need to know where you are in the screen. Let's say you're here. Am I far enough from the corner? Let's say here. Am I far enough from the corner to actually do that same thing? Let's try. No. I'm not far enough from the corner. Am I close enough to the corner to do the corner carry one with heavy kick? I was. But what if I'm a little further away? Oh, I wasn't close enough. So it's very situational what you're trying to do with Eliza, like on your confirms from grab and everything, you really need to know where you are on the screen, and that takes a little bit of experience and practice. So in my opinion, Sekhmet mid screen, you only do it when you need life and have one bar to do the super. That's why you would use Sekhmet mid screen, because you need life. Or, like in a combo, or to reset your opponent like I showed you. That's why you would use him. To try and reset your opponent in a cheeky way, or try to open them up. Or also, like use this, now using this is pretty good. Because, again, you can backdash out of like this, this, and then if they block it, you backdash and you're kinda safe. So that's pretty good. Now you can use Sekhmet a little bit more in neutral. Like mid-screen, Sekhmet is used more for like neutral, cheeky resets, or trying to open up your opponent. That's what Sekhmet would be useful for. In the corner is where, in my opinion, or to take your life back in mid-screen, in my opinion, the corner is where you want to use Sekhmet the most. Because, let's just... Eh, let's keep it like that. Because in the corner, it's way easier to combo with Sekhmet. I just added Sekhmet to a normal BMB I had in the corner, and it did more damage, and I think I only lost like... a hundred life, which is basically nothing. I'm gonna kill right now, but the numbers will say that I did like 8,000 damage, if I remember correctly. Oh, the damage doesn't appear, but it's like 8,000 damage. And that's, uh... That's a little combo in the corner. That's what I think Sekhmet is for now. And let me show you why the backdash is so important. I still see some people online that don't... ...punish Sekhmet. So, Sekhmet, you can sweep him. Which everyone can combo from after you sweep segment you can simply grab him which you can combo from depending on the character of course and you can also snap him back back in the day when segment couldn't backdash back in the day as if it were that long ago you kind of always wanted to do that because you can combo after it and then do a reset or something and the thing is that Sekhmet was, even if Sekhmet was at like full distance, like max distance for this move, if it was blocked and you stopped and you tried to jump back, most snapbacks would catch you anyways. So, and it would go into a combo. And you already lost meter and trying to catch them with Sekhmet, so the opponent using what meter to have a complete punish of you, a complete secure, consistent punish of you, really was not that much of a punishment. So now that segment can be gone to safety by the sacrifice of life, but you still have the opportunity to get that life back, makes Eliza a more interesting character. She's not as straightforward as before, you can build game plans around blood and stuff, maybe, I'm not that entirely sure, 
but you probably can. So, I think all these changes are really good. I like where Elisa is right now. I think Sekhmet is no longer a gimmick, and is now a fully fleshed tool that I want to use in the middle of a match. So, that would be it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.